Well, a vote tonight could increase your income tax here in Marion County. The City County Council will vote this evening on a multi-million dollar transit plan to pay for expanded bus service. We've got our City Beat reporter Mary Mills telling us today the odds of it passing and what this could cost you. The transit plan calls for making taking the bus easier and more convenient with shorter wait times and expanded service. Under the plan, buses would run more often later at night and in some areas that don't have service. The plan also calls for three rapid bus transit lines, the first running from Broad Ripple to U Indy. The expectation is the better the service, the more people will get on board, like students here at IUPUI. I do believe it does need to be improved. Um, I personally don't take the bus. Um, but it would, I would if it was easier, easier transportation. I would probably utilize it more if it had like a system where like it was incremented and increment systems every 15 minutes. That way you knew like when the bus was coming and you could follow it more frequently. The improvements would be paid for by raising the county income tax. Residents would pay an extra 100 bucks a year for each $40,000 of taxable income. That would give Indigo about $54 million a year. The plan is backed by the Indy Chamber, MyBor, and other groups who see it as critical to jobs and economic development. But at public hearings like this one, critics have spoken out as well. How will you fund income shortfalls if ridership doesn't reach projected levels? Will that result in a property tax increase? With no service into his district, Republican Jeff Coates says he plans to vote no. I can't really support a tax for my constituents for a service that won't be provided to them. Republican Jeff Miller, on the other hand, is behind the plan and thinks it will pass, though it could be close. You know, people have talked about, should we wait? Should we think longer about it? Uh, you know, is there more to discuss? Well, you know, we could discuss it forever, but the bottom line is there will always be risks, but the cost of doing nothing is a much bigger risk. If we do nothing at all, we're basically telling the transit system, sit over in the corner and slow bleed. If the transit plan is approved, that tax hike would take effect in October. And if it fails, it could still come back before the council at a later date. Scott?